Uh, I think it is uh, from 30... 34, uh, Mataji. Yes, 34. 239. Yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhu, can you see the screen? Prabhuji is there. I, I don't see him. No. I don't, yeah, I also can't see him. I think he got locked out again. No, he's oh uh, yeah, he's there. I don't know why uh, I'm getting logged off from my laptop. If this time I get logged off, I will try to join through my mobile. But sorry, uh, it's been uh, Always a very uh, bad start for me on a class. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. No, are... Prabhu. <laughs> no, Prabhu. Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. It's okay. Yes, yes. So I think the shlok, uh, what we have to start is 34 to 39. Correct? Yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so uh, you can start uh, giving other shlokas to, you know, devotees can raise their hand. Meanwhile, I'll just start with the first shloka of today. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.20.34 From the Srimad Bhagavat Bhagavat Puran, Canto 3, The Status Quo, Chapter 20, um, Discussions between Vedre, uh, Maitreya and uh, Vidura. So, Kasi Kasyasi Rambhoru Kovartaste Atrabhamini Rupa Dravina Panyena Durbhagan na vidabhas vida vibad dhase vibad dhase <coughs> kasi kasya shi rambhoru ko vartaste atrabhamini rupa dravina panyena durbhagan na vida vibad dhase <coughs> synonyms ka means who <coughs> asi means are you Kasya means belonging to whom. Asi means are you. Rambhoru, O oh pretty one. Ka, what. Va or. Artha means object. Te, your. Atra, hair. Bhamini, O oh passionate lady. Rupa means beauty. Dravina, priceless. <coughs> Panyena, with the community. Durbhagan, unfortunate. Na, us. Vida Vibad say you tantalize. Translation by His Divine Grace Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. <clears throat> Who are you, O pretty girl? Whose wife or daughter are you? And what can be the object of your appearing before us? Why do you tantalize us? Unfortunate as we are with the priceless commodity of your beauty. By his divine grace, Shila Prabhupada, Shila Prabhupada ki jai. The mentality of the demons is being enamored by the false beauty of this material world is expressed herein. The demoniac can pay any price for the skin beauty of this material world. They work very hard all day and night. But the purpose of their hard work is to enjoy sex life. Sometimes they misrepresent themselves as karma yogis, not knowing the meaning of the word yoga. Yoga means to link up with the Supreme Personality of Godhead or to act in Krishna consciousness. A person who works very hard, no matter in what occupation, and one who offers the result of the work to the service of Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, is called Karma Yogi. 
a person who works very hard no matter in what occupation and who offers the result of the work to the service of supreme personality of godhead krishna is called karma yogi <clears throat> So, <clears throat> so today in the morning when I was doing my Mangal Aarti, one point was just going in my mind that we all notice in our life and especially in the material world and be it in any format, be it in... Uh, I don't know if this is a particular nature of all the souls, including me. And you all deny me if I am wrong. It's like whenever it comes to an individual, we always try to uh, look for the benefit of ourselves. You're breaking, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, you're breaking, Prabhuji. And, and am I breaking now also? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. I'll join my mobile. I'll try to join. Something is... Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll log off from the laptop and I have joined from the mobile. Matajis, if you can hear me, please uh, just let me know. Yes, Prabhuji, it is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine now, fine now, Prabhuji. Okay. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one second, let me log off from there also completely so that I don't. Okay, all right. So, what I was telling is, uh, in the morning when I was doing uh, Aarti, there was one point coming into my mind that the, the way uh, we souls conduct ourselves, naturally it is, uh, it is we are designed right you know, in every living entity is an individual entity. Okay. And every individual entity has their own, uh, they have been given a, a set of body based on the karma. And uh, they have been given a mind. However, a living entity is dependent on the other. Certain decisions they have to take on their own. Now, um, for those who don't understand Krishna consciousness, or I would say that for those who understand even within Krishna consciousness, how deeply you understand Krishna, um, it makes a huge difference. Now, for example, um, Every person acts according to their mentality. So many, many years back, uh, there was a mobile phone. First time was launched in India. And uh, there was a form which used to come and people used to fill the form and they will get a mobile phone of, for 250 rupees. And incoming is free and outgoing is like you know chargeable. So... Every person, individual, has to take care of himself or herself, is given a mind and a body. And based on their karmas and based on their previous contamination, they get this current body. But that current body um, has some challenges in terms of anarthas. 
so based on those anarthas the mind and mentality and untrained mind people are not generally able to control themselves and they conduct their lives so in this way when so, a couple of years back when this mobile had come me and my friend were sitting i'm talking about i think 98 or 99 i was not into devotion but i was being preached by some devotees i came to devotion around 99 or 2000 and i seriously took up krishna consciousness around 2001 but before that people were preaching me and i was not very serious i didn't know what bhagavad gita is all about so there was one friend of mine who was sitting with me in a restaurant and uh, this form came and the restaurant owner was given this form of one of the uh, mobile company and that form came and in our hands also and moment the, my friend who was known to be little notorious among our circles means if you give him anything straight he will think always reverse always always reverse so when he the moment he got the form in his hand he said you know what i will go ahead and apply for this phone i will use the phone i will take 10 forms fill 10 different mobile numbers i will use this phone for as long as this is not caught and for one or two years i'll continue using without paying the bill and i looked at him and i said first time you saw the form i mean i was thinking first time he got the form in his hand and look how much one year planning that mentality of my friend did already how he will fool the company by using the phone and not paying the bill and changing the sim cards i hope you are getting what i am saying to me or to any sane person it will appear to be a cheating mentality a demonic mentality but some people are born or not i would say born but their anarthas are so high in their life that they look everything for their selfish reasons and they will turn everything for their own benefit and this was the point going around in my mind today that we always in this material world every living entity to a certain degree always thinks my way your way but no highway i'll tell again either my way or either your way but no highway highway means everybody can come to that so this mentality of enjoying fully one own self if i want something i want it fully to enjoy but uh hope mata ji you are you can continue sharing the first shloka itself and 3.20.34 yes, yes. yeah then we'll move like quickly move on to so let me just set up a context here so what is being discussed in the shloka is this that the living mentality living entity's mentality is if i will enjoy i will enjoy fully but i will not partake enjoyment with others i want to achieve so my way otherwise you take it your way but no highway means highway means let us collectively try to serve or enjoy anything this is a particular mentality of demons they can't cooperate they can't cooperate with with for simple simple things they are enamored by the attractions of this external world and they are ready to pay price for this attraction which they get from the material world they are ready to pay anything to that extent that in scriptures that they the demons know that if i am enjoying this apsara or i am doing this i can be punished by the superior authorities but despite knowing this devotees or the soul not here in terms of devotion the soul is 
enamored by this external feature of the material world and they will go to any extent to satisfy their personal sense gratification perfect example is we all know ravana now ravana was told by by um his sister durpanakha that oh what a beauty sita is when karadushana were killed and her nose was disfigured by lakshmana shurpanakha goes and tells ravana and she poisons ravana's mind based on the enamored eternal beauty of sita devi and that beauty he couldn't enjoy it in a spiritual way that oh she is the janak nandini oh she is the wife of vishnu he could not understand all this though although he was told not only in fact when when uh, surpnaka told ravana she also made a point that this vanvasi is not an ordinary person he is accompanied by his brother they have bow and arrow they have they have eliminated the uh, initial army of uh, your army which is in the form of khara and dushana and so many demons they have already killed so be careful but if you get this lady sita you will be very happy and you will forget mandodri now mandodri also is mentioned in the scripture was not an ordinary looking devotee uh, i mean ordinary looking soul she was also very beautiful and she was the patra mandodri temple no 5 to 1 pm undunnata malli 3:30 ki modlo undunnata ha pade 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 undunnata okay uh, mata ji are able to hear me prabhu ji yes yes prabhu ji yes prabhu ji i saw uh, i saw i got muted so then i realized why oh, i have to unmute myself so you are all with me you are hearing what i am saying sorry some disturbance came so i could not uh, yes yes, 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 yes prabhu ji yes, yes okay now yeah so ravana was told even by maricha look during the f- many many years before when uh, many many uh, uh, days before um lord ram was hit by the arrow uh, lord, Ra- lord ram's arrow hit marich and he was thrown to a huge distance that time also he saw sita devi and he saw his beauty her beauty he was very uh, enamored in the beginning but then he got an arrow hit by ram and then he started understanding and his mind came to the senses and then he mended his ways and he said i could have been killed by ram today he also tells ravana he tries to bring him up from his mentality but ravana like any other materialist person who had already been into the enjoyment of sex life from various ladies because he had already Uh, he had already snatched the beautiful wives of many many raj rishis and rishis and um, and many many uh, saints wives he brought and he was already enjoying them yet his enjoyment towards the material body or the body of uh, human body didn't really uh, he could not feel satisfied with and he did lot of hard work to get these he used to fight battles all around the planet and wherever he'll come to know that there is one nice damsel one night nice, one nice beautiful lady he will go attack and he will do lot of hard work in killing all those people and getting and enjoying so the question is even when marich was told if you don't become a deer i will kill you marich in turn says that okay it's better to be killed by ram than you so he agrees that's another story but ravana is very very 
deeply engrossed despite his wife and then vibhishana and then maricha everybody tried to make him rise above this mentality of lording on the material nature and especially the beauty of a woman now this is uh, this is very very true they say right dharma artha kama moksha so there are four pillars among this kama also is very uh, now kama as a lustiness can be for money can also be for human body or anything beautiful or power or position the basic mentality is to enjoy my way so to turn the things of others into my way something similar bali when bali was came back from after killing maya viravan his first question uh, to Sug uh, sugriva was uh, why did you put the stone he said i felt you were killed by maya vi so that's a different story he could not convince him and then what he did was in reverse he pushed him out of the kingdom bali pushed it out but he didn't push him with his family wife and everybody he kept his wife with so this this mentality is represented here in this shloka also and then it is said that they will try to prove their justification of their lust in the form of karma that i have achieved this lady why don't i enjoy her i have defeated the king so i will enjoy the daughter of that king that used to happen in earlier time whenever two kings will fight and the other king will come and try to kill the king the king will say don't worry i'll become your relative take my daughter with you so this it was a rampant exhibition of sense gratification among many kings and this they take it as something unknowingly they will call the demons will call and represent represented as that i am trying to live this life as from as, as if they are karma yogis they are like doing action because they are they do something and they are bound to enjoy the uh, result of that action so generally the karma yogis they say is that you you talk to any normal person he will say oh you are getting a very good salary yes because i have done engineering yes because i have done this and this courses yes because i work very hard for my company you have to give me a good salary and then they demand and the company also pays so they they started feeling as if they own the company this happens even today and they always will try to prove to meet their sense gratification they will try to say as if this is the way god wanted this want this life to be conducted you do action and get good result of your actions in the form of sense gratification but they forget that the karma or the science of karma they are utilizing is to meet god or to link up with supreme personality of god it is not for their own individual sake so karma generally is action with some fruitive reaction it can be sour and it can be sweet some people like sweet some people like sour so they do action say so i'll give you an example suppose some people like to hurt others they feel pleasure in hurting others so they they would they will do action which displeases others but in turn you know that karma incurs some fruitive result because they feel happy that he is being paid i know one devotee devotee's father in law whose property was embezzled by one the local goon the local gunda the local uh, uh, rowdy he took away poor old person hard earned property that person took away and this person has fought elect uh, fought court case 15 years and that person that gunda fellow gave proper sold that property to and meanwhile when he is fighting that property got sold to couple of hands among the goons on and at the end of the 15 years he gave up so much of his wealth the devotee he gave up this he became very old and then somehow krishna's mercy they did some patch up and they gave him 
fifty percent, some rupees fifty percent worth of his property. In the end, he did not get anything. His life was very distressful, and he confessed to me, Prabhu, I don't know how Krishna wants me to learn this lesson from this also. One property that also got captured, but the goon did a karma. You ask him, he said, "This is the way how I live." So a karma. So he what he did almost. So karma when you do, uh, you'll get a fruitive result. But if that karma goes against the injunctions of scriptures, it becomes vikarma. But devotees try to do karma for the pleasure, some siddhi haritoshana for the pleasure of the Lord. So that karma doesn't have any plus or negative. That karma is known as a karma. So the the reason to connect with Krishna is not there in the demonic mentality, and they are enamored by this material. Although they appear to be doing actions and they defend themselves, but they they are misled in the material life. Something similar they are trying to show in this shloka also that the demons are attracted to this pretty girl they see, and they are showing their helplessness. Then they are telling that they are tantalized by the beauty of this girl, and this is not. This is every day we see this. This is this is not just the. there in terms of enjoying the material body of uh, for a woman for a man and a man for a woman it's not it's written for a enjoying the mental enjoying mentality for man enjoying a woman no it's reverse also some powerful women enjoy man men not man men m e n it's reverse it's both ways so a soul entered into a a woman's body can, can enjoy a man's body and a soul entered into a man body will try to seek pleasure from the woman's body this is very natural and then that mentality is everywhere nowadays around us there is nothing very uh, you know and you have been reading about this this is all very uh, you know we know that how brahma gave up his body right so all that shlokas are you know very you know you have already read so i don't want to repeat all that if you read text 29 30 31 you know they are just trying to mention the vaidra uh, the vidura and maitre muni it's 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 because the uh, vidura has been driven out by the castle um he is driving his his inner consciousness has driven him out from the um the clutches of maya in the form of the place where he served in hastinapur because before few years he enlightened um, his own brother dhritarashtra who then uh, you know gave up his life by meditating and getting his body fired where gandhari jumped so couple of years late a couple of months later he also realized that when i can give knowledge to others i also personally need knowledge and this is what the conversation is happening and he's uh, Is met on the way to Badrika Ashram. He meets uh, Maitre Muni, and the Maitre Muni explains him a lot of things, and he gets his doubts cleared. So this is again uh, is just an a uh, way to understand how um, the demons get enamored by the beauty um, which is happening everywhere, and not just for sex. It can be for money. it can be for power and position it can be that i want to look famous i want to be famous among all the people so like this um this mentality is coming because of one basic root is that we want to enjoy our senses rather than dautailing the senses to make krishna enjoy or means the creator who has given us you may not know krishna but you may know some higher authority more than you. there are people who uh, don't know krishna they worship demigod 
the question is krishna is happy even if you worship uh, demigods but probably you worship in a very nice way so the moment you worship demigods the krishna is not against worshiping demigods he knows i mean all are his souls but if you become knowledgeable instead krishna would appreciate if you come to him directly rather than going indirectly but sometimes lot of people have their desires as i said earlier their mentality is to enjoy so when you come to krishna krishna will try to uh, stop you from continuous enjoyment demigods if you go or devi devtas you go you ask them they will give you as much as they have the power but they will not try to give you knowledge and bring you up their job is to you ask for something i need a good husband they will give you i need a good wife they will give you i need wealth they will give you you do some donations they are supposed to be that is their job in krishna's world is but krishna wants you to go that way and then when you have realized he wants you to come back to him that okay i am now i have realized that even asking for devi devta is not the correct mentality and so finally you vasudevam sarvam iti samahatma sudurlabha bahunam janmam after many many birth the soul realizes that i am going to various places seeking pleasure everywhere i am finding poison in the end and distaste and it happens with everyone all of us and then slowly we migrate our consciousness towards why is this fluctuation happening with us and nobody is born demon if you don't control your senses and you use the senses to your own satisfaction then you definitely go against the you go in the favor of temptations rather than going against the temptation the whole life so the one who goes in the with the flow of temptation is known as asura and one who goes who restricts his temptations and go in the disciplined way is known as sura so he is in sur he is in tune with the lord and who is going against the tune of the lord is asura that is where it's known as sur asur main sur mein ga raha hu main asur main sur mein nahi ga raha hu main am asur i am going doing against the things so i hope you all have understood these are all very descriptive conversations here uh, we have to understand the meaning so we will quickly next fifth, next 10 minutes we'll read out all the remaining shlokas i would request the uh, <clears throat> the devotees to come forward prabhu ji and mata ji to start reading the shlokas and purport yes hari krishna prabhu ji vrish banu kanya mata ji you can read the shlokas shanti mata ji yes. will read the translation and shobha mata ji the purport hari krishna hari, hari krishna then मगलेवर्लो While playing with your ball, you have educated the minds of all onlookers. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Pranams, Prabhuji, and Mataji's purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Demons arrange many kinds of performances to see the glaring beauty of a beautiful woman. Here it is stated that they saw the girl playing with a ball. Sometimes the demonic, the demoniac arrangement for so called sports like tennis with the opposite sex. The purpose of such sporting is to see the bodily construction of the beautiful girl and enjoy a subtle sex mentality. This demoniac sex mentality of material enjoyment is sometimes encouraged by so-called yogis who encourage the public to enjoy sex life in different varieties and at the same time advertise that if one meditates on a certain manufactured mantra, one can become god within six months. The public wants to be cheated, and Krishna therefore creates such cheaters to misrepresent and delude. These so-called yogis are actually enjoyers of the world garb as yogis. Bhagavad Gita, however, recommends that if one wants to enjoy life, then it cannot be with these gross senses. 
a patient is advised by the experienced physician to refrain from ordinary enjoyment while in the diseased condition. A diseased person cannot enjoy anything. He has to restrain his enjoyment in order to get rid of the disease. Similarly, our material condition is a diseased condition. If one wants to enjoy real sense enjoyment, then one must get free of the entanglement of material existence. In spiritual life, we can enjoy sense enjoyment which has no end. The difference between material and spiritual enjoyment is that material enjoyment is limited. Even if a man engages in material sex enjoyment, he cannot enjoy it for long. But when the sense of sex enjoyment is given up, then one can enter spiritual life, which is an ending. In Bhagavatam, first loka, fifth canto, fifth chapter, it is stated that Brahma Saukhya, spiritual happiness, is Ananda, an ending. Foolish creatures are enamored by the beauty of matter and think that the enjoyment it offers is real. But actually, that it is not real enjoyment. Thank you, Prabhupada. Thank you, Maharaj. So, so before we move to the next shloka, I want to bring a point here. And then, uh, Mataji, you can select three more devotees. So please understand uh, one thing. There is a line written here which says, <clears throat> if, you want, if one wants to enjoy real sense enjoyment, then one must get free of the entangled of material existence. Now, this line has a very deep meaning. So that means um, we, most of the time, devotees talk and they say, <clears throat> they will tell you, you know what, uh, you be, uh, you, you, when you deliver from here uh, and go back to Goluka, actually you enjoy much more than what you are enjoying here. Because just think, think very logically. The body which Krishna has given us today is very fragile. One impact on this area which is heart, if you can see the video, maybe I don't know if you are able to see me. This is my heart area. One impact, somebody boxes me here. You know, my body, you know, I will feel pain in my heart and I may get a heart attack. Imagine how, you know, Two minutes I hold my breath and I am able to, not able to breathe properly. If little dirt in the food goes, I get food poison. Little exposure to cold, you get problems of sneezing and cold. Your throat gets problems. So if you really see in the bargain, where are we trying to enjoy? We are trying to enjoy in a place that body is in itself doesn't enjoy well. He doesn't have the capability to take enjoyment longer. That is what they are saying. You cannot continue this enjoyment for long. We have to understand this. Say, for example, you, we want to earn money. We have earned money, but we cannot continue earning and enjoying money. We cannot. We feel so. Because all the, when you are in the state, all the working people, professionals, they know keep earning the whole life and they don't know when the life has gone. When they, when did we become old? And when you become old, you become diseased, you cannot enjoy. 95% of the people around me, whenever I have discussed with them, I don't know about all of you, but everybody says I am earning. All my friends, when I talk to them, I said, are you able to enjoy? I said, time is not. So they feel, if I take my family to one Goa trip, one Europe package, going to America for 10 days and coming and enjoying with my family, that is enjoyment. That's the max enjoy the enjoyment. They can literally define enjoyment. Whenever I ask them, he says, I go home and I tell my parents, uh, my wife and my children, let's go for, uh, we'll go to Sri Lanka and enjoy in the beach and come. Five days they go, they come back, they go to a enjoyment place and come back tourist place but again they work hard and after one week you ask them how was the enjoyment he said i liked it but yeah all that enjoyment has gone away because again i am in i'm chucky piecing and piecing and piecing right what's the, 
some some movie they showed right and chucky piecing and piecing in an in indian movie when i was young i saw one movie of an actor that same thing comes we are grinding grinding the whole life when we don't know when we are becoming old i am one of them every day hair is becoming white and trying to earn money and even how successful you are to in earning money so you struggle so much you earn this much and i have seen people who are earning this much uh they earn so much but they are not able to enjoy their wealth their servants are enjoying so you create a big house for yourself most of the times you cannot stay in house because you have to go for business you have to you have to go you are a celebrity you have to go to tv shows you have to go to various uh meeting people for business or for you are a celebrity who comes in movies and tvs you are going for shooting and all and their servants they enjoy the house more than them okay this is this is the way how things work and with that money comes lot of tension to maintain that money and you have raised your standard of living so high that you want everybody to see you always getting down from a very good car very big car maybe mercedes or something so this is a trap this is exactly a trap there is no deny to it so same way enjoyment for a soul will always be related to body if he is not looking for brahma sukhya sukhya saukhya brahma sukhya means spiritual happiness which is forever but the point now i'm going to try to tell you is if you or me want to go to goloka krishna will expect us to become completely pure here within the same temptations you have to become absolutely pure by thoughts by actions and by reasoning and inner conscience you have to be in all the parameters very 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 pure krishna will not leave you to go to goloka until unless you are, have become ajat shatru nobody is enemy you have no one enemy you have to become abhishekam you cannot become depressed you have to be shitoshana sukha dukha you have to for small small time period you have to tolerate this sukha dukha you have to rise above them right so he is asking you to rise above this brahma bhuta prasanna atma na shochati na kang you have no shochati na kangsha he is he will he will expect you to rise above these temptations in this life itself otherwise he will give you another body so if suppose we are not completely pure but we tried our best and krishna helps and little leniency krishna does show to everybody but if you are not able to give up some pleasure which is really making you touch with the body he will give you another body in the next bird maybe another human being but he will help you by uh, you know giving you the same feeling as you passed away from this body previous body and he will make that portion where you could not get uh, improved he will magnify it and try to ask you to overcome it so you may get a very good family you may get good brahmana family you may get knowledge and then you work out on that particular point for you to improve but if you don't use that chance you again go down so it is difficult so you, we have to understand all this what we are reading enjoyment enjoyment it has to be practically 100% followed at least prabhupad says 67 to 80 percent follow. I am serving Krishna, but I don't look affectionately to others. That's among devotees. If now you have become a devotee, in devotees also you have to be careful. You cannot show eyes to devotees while being into devotional service. You cannot. You are not supposed. I. You will experience even among devotees. Sometimes you show eyes to each other. Mm. They will. You will take away their service, give to somebody whom you feel is better than him. all these gradations and all these we have to rise 
okay from a temple management perspective one person who is running the temple maybe the president of that is khan temple he has become temple president but not necessarily that he has he has transcended the three modes of material nature that you can see everything so that all those permutation combinations you have to keep aside you have to continue serving so you have to live by it but be it a temple president in a temple or be it the smallest devotee associating with the devotees in the temple the the object of the test or the the subject to uh, passing of the exam of this human life is same depending upon your conditions you have to continue improving so even a temple president has to improve what problems i am not able to do what he also has to analyze and so a devotee at the chapel stand in the janmashtami stall also has to improve we all have to together improve and help each other then we will we are entitled to have brahma sukhya you have to be literally a wonderful devotee and serve krishna without any deviations so let's quickly read other shlokas also because we have less time hari krishna sarvanand gandhi prabhu ji uh, you can read the shloka sindhu mata ji you can read the translation yeah. prabhu ji we want to read the purport there is less time whatever you suggest no, we, what we will do is we will finish all the shlokas then i will conclude so purport you want want us to read the purport yeah, or is, no for 36 i think it is a small purport we can read yeah so sudha mata ji you read the purport Sorry, Sudha Mata Ji, translation and Krishna Murthy Prabhu Ji, the purport. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna Prabhu Ji, Tanwar Prabhu. Naikatre te jayate shalini pad padmam natya mahu kara tala talen patat patangam matyam vishidati prahatstana. उंडी or pressed by the weight of your full grown dress your weight becomes fatigue and your clear vision grows dull as it were pray braid you, your comely hair thank you prabhu ji hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna mata ji purport purport by ac bhakti vedanta prabhupad prabhupad ki jai the demons observe our beautiful gestures in the human shiver step here they praise her full grown breasts her scattered hair and her movements in stepping forward and backward while playing with the ball in every step they enjoy her womanly beauty and while they enjoy her beauty their minds become agitated by sex desire as months at night surrounded a fire and are killed so the demons become victims of the movements of the ball like breasts of a beautiful woman the scattered hair of a beautiful woman also <laughs> afflicts the heart of a बॉडी A, a soul entered into a woman body will be equally enjoying the men's body so it's it's applicable for all let's go and read 37 now kishori mata ji you can read the shloka maumita mata ji the translation and subharao prabhu the purport hari krishna hari krishna hari hari krishna prabhu ji सायतनी संध्यामसुरा प्रमादीम प्रलोभयती मगुरु मर्वा मूढ़धीय स्त्री यम हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू धन्यवाद ट्रांसलेशन बशल प्रभुपात प्रभुपात की जय द असुरास क्लाउडेड इन दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग टुक द इवनिंग टू लाइट टू बी अ ब्यूटिफुल वुमेन शोइंग हर सेल्फ इन हर एलोरिंग फॉर्म एंड दे सीज्ड हर Thank you, Mataji. 
Thank you, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna Mata Ji. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji. Purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki. The Asuras are described here as Mudha Dhyā. Mudha Dhyā. Meaning that they are captivated by ignorance just like the ass. The demons were captivated by the false glaring beauty of the this material form and thus they embraced her. Hare Krishna. The one mentality of demons is to enjoy, always look for short term enjoyments. That's the problem. In, in today's world, if you notice, social media world where everybody is able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you can move to the next Loka Mataji, uh, 2038, but I'll just tell you, in this world, what is happening is if you realize everybody wants to see enjoyment today. Nobody cares what will happen tomorrow if I will do these actions. It is happening. Why I took the word of, word of social media is not to decry that social media is bad. No, social media means everybody can start sharing their thoughts on, and their mind in explaining what he or she feels and letting others know. Right? I went to this place and I ate this food and everybody thumbs up. Wow. So then, and nowadays social media, they, they show everything putting into a video. They are cooking at home. They want to show it as a video because in return they will get money. What happens is so many families, they have started putting everything of their life into video just to earn money. It can be, uh, I, I mean, I have seen that uh, there are people who are uh, putting everything what they do in their material life into a video. But the, and what happens is they almost become like celebrity nowadays and their personal life is nowhere. And when some some people will not see, they will not get that views, they become mentally uh, troubled. Oh, nobody is looking at me. And this makes them take steps which are not good. I don't want to continue telling this here. You just, you know it. Because of this video showing things, this is one example I'm showing where it shows how uh, for short-term benefits, we because we are getting money today. So I will show everything of my home. They are going to some place. They are showing, going in a car. Some, they will, okay, you know, they will, uh, uh, they will show cooking things. Then they will show the kitchen. Then they will show how a lady is walking in the kitchen. So, okay, you show kitchen things, but you are showing how the woman is walking in the kitchen. And then she is putting her hair like this. All these things, you see. Their intent was to show cooking, but people want to see more than cooking, even in a cooking video. So then that lady dressed up very nicely to show that cooking because she wants some viewership to increase. What for short benefit? Money. This is happening in this current generation. It is happening everywhere. They are showing their all personal life into broadcasting to people so that they will get views. Where are we going? I don't know. I am no one. I am just seeing how things are changing around me. I am just narrating and I am not saying this is right or wrong. I am just saying this is happening. But it seems somewhere there is nobody is able to cross a line, that line. You know, they are not able to put a line, I will not cross beyond this. Just for the pleasure of getting money. And when you get money, you can enjoy life. Like how in material world they say, if I do yoga, I, I'll be able to enjoy sex life more. That's yoga for enjoying sex life more. There are so many places they will teach you yoga to keep your body healthy so that you can enjoy your sex life more. This is how they say. You eat these foods, you will be more able to uh, enjoy married life. You, you do this, you sleep well, you do this, you do exercise, you look attractive and attract people. That is what it's happening nowadays in this world. And we are not able to we are not able to see this that where are the things going beyond control. And we are all uh, in this middle 
so we have to keep ourselves safe by not getting into some activities which has short term pleasure but long term it's just going to bring our consciousness level down just bring our consciousness level down so devotees would like to try to stick there is one lady i think in mumbai who was a devotee girl went into some place uh, you know and uh, like for example i'll tell you my own example that when i visited you as somebody told me don't go to las vegas i said why i didn't know anything about las vegas it's a sin city i said what do you mean by sin city a lot of uh, gambling is there you will get attracted and then you know you will get into gambling and i literally didn't go although when i came back another devotee said did you visit las vegas we have a iskon temple coming up i i didn't know <laughs> so like that so the devotees try to you know save you from all the situations so it is very nice to be in the connection of devotees let's finish uh, this 38 also if any devotee can Hare finish Krishna. it please yeah raha one or two minutes ya bhagwa bhav gambhiram jigrantyatmam atmana kantya sasarj bhagwan gandhar vyapsas sam ganan Translation by Shrila Prabhupada, Shrila Prabhupada ki jai. With a laugh full of deep significance, the worshipful Brahma then evolved by his own lo loveliness, which seemed to enjoy himself by itself. Uh, to enjoy itself by itself, the hosts of Gandharvas and Apsaras. The musicians in the upper planet planetary systems are called Gandharvas and the dancing girls are called Apsaras. after being attacked by the demons and evolving a form of a beautiful woman in the twilight brahma next created gandharvas and apsaras music and dancing em employed in sense gratification are to be accepted as demonic but the same music and dancing when employed in glorifying the supreme lord as kirtana are transcendental and they bring about a life completely fit for spiritual enjoyment hari krishna Hare Krishna. So you all, I don't have to tell you. You you have seen this. You, if you open uh, any uh, television, you will see any movie. You will see always a man and a woman. You see any ad. So many ads are around between this attraction of a male and a female. You know, anything. They are selling a car. They will keep one nice, good-looking lady next to the car, so that at least if you don't buy the car, at least look to the. They look into the ad, looking to the lady. so this is how the material world is but we can enjoy so i will not say they are right or wrong it's their choice what they do but those who have started becoming mature in devotional service they are maturing in this life they start moving out from this those who are doing you you can't go and stop television broadcasting you cannot you are not supposed to because krishna is giving enjoyment to everybody whatever they are seeking in life but they will get it with krishna's way of he will let you enjoy for some time then you switch off also that enjoy based on your karmas you know you did lot of good karma and you want to in incur those karma in the form of enjoying sense gratification krishna will give you facility that is why so many years uh, liquor has never been banned could not could not be banned in any civilization and so as uh, any you know movies of all sorts of degree of movies are being banned serials so you can't really tell them to shut down it doesn't help you have to avoid being mature you have you can mature yourself in fact i know um i have seen some of the celebrities telling that they don't let their children watch all these things they themselves act in those films they don't let their children till the time they grow mature they don't let them see the movies they don't let them see serials i don't know this is what i have seen in interviews of those celebrity who themselves are in these movies or the makers of them they are telling i keep my children away because they know their what they are showing is not good so they keep their children away but they make money out of it so they let everybody see so now that gives message that everybody else should do the same at their home don't watch fill the serials seeing uh, nowadays so many serials are showing so many intricate relationships within a family itself which is all phantasmagoria what to do all right we'll do the last shloka chandana mata ji you want to recite the shloka translation and uh, purport ah uh, just one line only yes yeah. and then yes, you are done hare krishna this uh, 
विससर्जन तनु ताम वै ज्योत्ना का प्रिया Translation by After that, Brahma gave up that shining and beloved form of moonlight, Vishwavasu and other Dhandavas gladly took possession of it. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hari Bol. So this is all very descriptive. You continue reading. Um, and so, you know, it's all descriptive. You keep reading uh, in the conversation of, uh, you know, um, Maitreya and Vidura in this in the Canto Three of the Status Quo, Chapter Twenty. So I hope um, somehow we have been able to do justice with these, you know, understandings. And uh, you, I, I know next uh, devotee will continue with three dot twenty dot forty. But the essence is that we are all devotees. We have only one chance. At least we don't have to lose this chance. If we lose this chance also, after so much of reading of Bhagavatam, if we're not able to improve, and we don't have to be improving ourselves uh, until unless we don't come in the association of devotees. If, if any of you here hearing is not able to get devotee association once in a week, I would request you, whichever city you are, Bangalore, or even if you are abroad, make sure you are at least one Sunday or Saturday or some Bhakti Vriksha group you join or Temple Nam Hatta programs you join, please get into the association of devotee because uh, you may be able to get out of the allurement of this material world easily if you are in the association of devotee. The real test starts when you are in the association of devotee. Hear me very carefully, Prabhuji's Mataji's. My experience of 23, 22 years, 23 years, of Krishna consciousness is the real test starts when you are in the association of devotees. The real test of your consciousness in Krishna is beyond uh, this material world's, uh, you know, allurements. Uh, in Iskand we say, na, chai chhod do, chhod de. Kwan si badi baat hai? We left. Uh, don't eat onion garlic. We left. 22 years ho gaya mujhe chhode hai. Where kanti mala? Where this? So, what is the big deal in it? Association of devotees, then the real journey starts. So, if any of you cannot do anything about it, associate in this these online formats. But if your city or whichever place you are, there is an ISKCON temple, please go and start association with devotees. You will come to know that the real Krishna consciousness testing and improvement starts only when you are in this association of devotees. Rest all is like, it's like uh, for getting into the army, you need to be six feet. What did you do to get six feet? Your parents were tall, so you got six feet. You should be not having any body ailments. Okay, that body came to you. You should speak, uh, you know, nice explanation during interview for some NDA, Defense Academy. Good. But the real training to be a soldier starts when you are among the soldiers. And then you have to fight a war. You are getting my point? Prabhuji's, Mataji's. The real exam of a soldier, the real exam of a soldier, is it true or not? Then we will close this session. The real yes, exam of a soldier, so yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. yes, Prabhu. very, 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 very true. true. Very true. See, I am I am, I like India. Bharat Bhumi Janma Sarthaka Kari. But tomorrow, if Pakistan attacks or any, any, why do I name somebody, some enemy of my country? You give me some uh, banduk and uh, gun and go and fight. My hands will tremble. Although I am quite little healthy or I'll do some exercise and go, but I can't because I am not a trained, I am not a trained soldier. Just give me five minutes. Two minutes, give me. I'm coming. Classes in. So, uh, sorry. Uh, so, you are getting my point. The soldier, yes. the soldier's journey, journey, the soldier's journey in an army starts only after he leaves his civil life and 
associates with other soldiers in his academy then he passes the exam then he starts working day and night then he is posted in ladakh then he is posted in kanyakumari then he is posted in all the parts of the country he is sent to the borders he works over there then he becomes the real soldier and then suddenly some aeroplane comes and attack and then he flies the aircraft and goes and attacks and then protects and this is something similar for devotees you uh, your krishna consciousness journey starts when you are in the association of devotees then within the association of devotees there are so many ups and downs mentally you have to come and rise and become pure 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 like taptava gold shining gold you have to become among the devotees then the manthan happens in the association of devotee krishna will manth you oh material world se bahar nikalna aasan hai lekin devotees ke beech mein devotion karke success pana is a different ball game all together hari bol if you are not associating with devotees currently make sure pray earnestly to krishna please give me devotee association because then your real journey starts otherwise we'll get next birth just to make sure we are born to some iskon devotees family then only you will be able to wear he staying close to temple then the real journey starts i hope you are getting my point prabhu i have one question yes, got into this subject devotee association means now you go to temple you sit with devotees and finish everything you come back or is it that you have to mingle what if you don't know any devotees then what do you do you don't know any devotee in the temple no so you start going to temple you will automatically know devotees you start serving they will give you some task they will ask okay come for raj bhog aarti they will ask come for sunday feast then you then there is a festival then you take care of those festivals you do service together and yeah. uh, then right yes hmm. hari krishna sorry. prabhu ji even i have the uh, can you hear me prabhu ji hari krishna yeah yeah even sorry I have this experience that uh, suppose i am in mumbai very close to the juhu temple i mean to god's mercy so i go to the temple and i try to associate with the devotees but again the congregations are so huge and so big i'm begging and begging for seva also i'm not getting of course because there's a long queue and which temple you are names. going which temple you are going uh, juhu juhu mumbai juhu is very difficult to get mataji because of the crowd yes. there's so many devotees no. very no, very crowded you go to, to roop vilas prabhu ji i'll get you you contact yes, me yes i go to his class on uh, thursday he has uh, i purposefully at okay i'll tell you let me tell you my you are what you are telling okay this is all a different discussion but this discussion has to be done yes please. i don't know if anybody wants to log off because I, we don't want to drag everyone into this all those who do body want to vancha kaltaru bhescha you can continue logging i'll answer this and then move forward okay very good question wonderful question talk to rupla prabhu ji okay you are attending that's also okay his classes i'll tell you i'll tell you how i'll tell you my own way of how i have associated with devotees suppose you don't even know any here you are attending rupilas prabhu ji's class and it's a huge congregation all the services are already there how to get a service over there correct but the i am telling at least you know somebody i am telling suppose if i tomorrow migrate to bombay and i don't know anybody then how will i do so enter into a temple enter into a temple and try to find out services how take ad hoc services how you can find services first of all you have to devote time by standing there suppose you see a uh, book distribution month is going on so i i can vouch you if you go and tell this thing to rupilas prabhu ji or anybody they will never say no to you book distribution december month is going on suppose just 3 months back and you say prabhu ji there is a service there um may i also hold bhagavad gita and sell to the visitors because juhu temple means visitors coming this is one very big service 
whether you are able to sell a book or not i i can vouch you what rupila prabhu ji nobody can deny you that don't sell this book for them that is yes, one sir understood second service i'll tell you there will be how many chairs in juhu where suppose take one piece of cloth from your home see walk from one corner of the temple to another corner where do you see um some dirt clean it who will stop you to make the temple clean give me their name and number can somebody stop you suppose suppose i challenge you or you challenge me prabhu ji uh, i ask you mata ji can you show me one uh, one fan which is dirty or one cow web or you know that uh, uh, spider web is there try to find out things mata ji suppose you are standing in the chappal stand and chappals are not kept properly you don't need to know anybody just go and put the chappals properly that's Can a very good say madam yes that's prabhu ji thank you so much for uh, i mean i i completely understood what you are saying you don't very have good. to get you don't have to get officially into a survey automatically krishna will make place for you mata ji yes yes prabhu ji just go there take a dirty piece of uh, take a good piece of cloth 20 rupees cloth comes from any uh, kirana store keep it in your pocket mata ji in your purse and clean it with the polythene so that dirt and clean the start cleaning the temple believe me krishna will recognize you very soon yes prabhu ji thank you so much for showing me this way go go and stand in front of the kitchen go and stand in front of the kitchen and say any uh, vegetable cutting because vegetable cutting services cleaning services chappal stand services people don't want to go there and serve find out places where devotees generally don't want to go because they want to be always in the seva where the altar is there they want to be doing deity dressing now you want directly want to go and enter into deity dressing the serving deity in a deity center they say that as you grow older <coughs> you need to develop relationship with the deity so but you start working here krishna will make you reach there now that doesn't mean that you a devotee who has uh, started developing relationship with the deity by dressing the deity that service is better than the chappal cleaning or chappal stand putting the chappal it's same in fact the devotee who puts chappal properly they say it and naturally the heart says gets more benefit and that is why i have heard even temple president in his con telling the temple president has in the queue of deliverance in the last because you took the uh, you know you wanted everybody to deliver how can you go enter enter again initially if goluka everybody is leaving all the devotees who are not recognized in the temple who don't nobody knows they are the ones who go first to goluka so what do you want going out of this world because Kambuji, they say that the chappal chappal you know the best service in the devotees chappals i i i can't hear you uh, i you were bro- breaking looking after chappals of the devotees i heard that's the best service prabhu ji you have you heard me chapp- am i hearing yeah, you were breaking chappals. prabhu ji arranging uh, arranging chappals of devotees they supposed to be the best service that's why i, I heard that's yes. what i heard yes it has the it has the uh, because yeah. a devotee Right. see prabhu ji mata ji one thing is for sure why we are worshiping krishna because the devotee who seems to be during abhisheking doing abhishekam he is in the limelight although he is in the limelight he is able to do abhishekam of the lord but lord doesn't look like that oh you were doing abhishekam with me come come you are my intimate devotee and you were doing chappal you stay away you are like a, no no it reverse actually all the yes. devotees who are in major major services the devotee who will give most of the bhagavatam class the devotee who is listening properly to bhagavatam turns out to be a better devotee than the person who is giving the best of the bhagavatam class that is how krishna ko isiliye krishna se sab darte hain isiliye krishna krishna hai tabhi bhagwan hai wo वो बिल्कुल वो करना करता है जो उसे करना चाहिए 
बस आपको डिवोटी का एसोसिएशन छोड़ना नहीं अब चाहे आपको डेटी के लेवल पे मिले एसोसिएशन डिवोटी से चाहे चप्पल के लेवल पे मिले चप्पल एन ए डेटी इन ए टेम्पल आर सेम ऐसा सोचिए अभी क्या बोल रहे हैं प्रभु जी चप्पल की पूजा तोड़ी करते हैं अरे अरे राम की चप्पल की पूजा भरत ने तेरह साल सर पे रख के की तो वो भी तो चप्पल ही थी प्रभु की चप्पल थी तो क्या हुआ इनफैक्ट प्रभु कंट्रोल्स दर वर्ल्ड बट ही गेट्स कंट्रोल बाय अ डिवोटी तो डिवोटी की चप्पल प्रभु की चप्पल से ज्यादा हैवी निकलती है दैट इज वाई कृष्णा टेल्स कि मेरे को गोपियों की पैर की धूल से सर पे लगाओ मेरा सर दर्द दूर हो जाएगा माई हेड एक विल गो द मूवमेंट यू पुट द Lot dust of my devotees, and nobody wanted to give dust, but gopis went, and Radha Rani and gopis. That is why Krishna has to come in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to understand the mood of gopis, which is Radha Rani. He wants to understand how Radha Rani worships him so much and loves him so much that he is completely mesmerized by Krishna, uh, by Radha Rani's devotion. That is why Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj Prabhupada is known as Nayana Manjari. Means how Radha Rani looks to Krishna with that attitude. He is the master acharya. So this is why Krishna consciousness cannot be stolen. Krishna consciousness cannot be forced upon anybody. It is to be understood, enjoyed joyfully. and if this process does takes couple of births krishna says be it but you come this that is why bahunam janma mante otherwise krishna would have said one single janma mante ek hi single janma ke ant mein tum aa jao mere paas it is good if you can but if you are not because of your anarthas and so much problems in our own life so association with devotees and if you are fortunate to stay close to juhu then you are the most fortunate aribo Hari bol yes Prabhu ji I agree I totally have that gratitude Yes thank you Prabhu ji for answering yes. all our questions wonderful thank you Prabhu ji wonderful sir thank you Prabhu I I had given chance for all those who didn't ask question they could have logged off but I am so happy everybody is there almost 34 so they are all very elevated you are all very elevated devotees but continue see krishna consciousness means mata ji love nothing else Never show I to devotees. गुस्सा नहीं करने का कभी कभी नहीं गुस्सा मैं कृष्णा के लिए डांट दूंगी तुमको थप्पड़ मार दूंगी तो अरे ऐसे नहीं होता डिवोशन बाबा उसको देखो उसको जिसको तुम चिल्ला रहे हो वो घर में उसका हस्बैंड और वाइफ कितना लड़ाई करता है वो वैसे ही बिचारी फैमिली में बहुत तकलीफ में तुम उसको इस्कॉन टेम्पल के अंदर मंदिर में आंख दिखाते हो आ, तुम्हारी आंखें खराब कर देगा कन्हैया He is very dangerous. Mahavishnu goes. Mahavishnu Jana Maharaj wrote in the uh, kitchen once. Be very careful with Krishna. Don't take him for granted. That means remain humble. Somebody is not able to do service as good as you. Help him to do service. Never show him I there. Hato. Ham karenge Krishna ki seva. Hmm. Aisa nahi chalta devotion. Hmm? True, Prabhu ji. Okay. Yes, Prabhu ji. प्लेटफॉर्म प्रभु जी थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा